What's up, guys? We are doing translating between words and symbols. Uh, this is target 6A, and this is day two. So learning goals. You can determine what different expressions represent a given world, real world scenario, and you can identify an error given a real world problem. These are all things that you should be able to do by the end of the video. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. A coffee shop uses two different sized mugs to serve drinks. The maroon mugs can hold X ounces and the green mugs can hold Y ounces. The coffee shop has M maroon mugs and N green mugs. So what do the following expressions represent? So we're going to go over here and we're going to take a look. Okay, so we have, where's my pen? There it is. All right, so we have M and N. And to figure out what that is, let's go ahead and look. And we have M is... The number of maroon mugs so this is number of maroon mugs and n is the number of green mugs all right now we have m plus n so what would that be if well that's the number of maroon mugs plus the number of green mugs so that would be the total number of mugs if we look at x plus y Okay, maroon mugs hold X ounces, green mugs hold Y ounces. All right, so that's number of ounces plus number of ounces, you know, in each mug. So that would be the total number of ounces, ounces that the mugs can hold. Yeah, that's easier uh, to hear than it is to say, trust me. So it should be total number of ounces that the mugs can hold. And then we have MX plus NY. Now, we're kind of combining the two. So this is the total number of um, maroon mugs, total number of green mugs. So this is number of green, number of maroon, and this is number of ounces, and this is number of ounces. And that's number of ounces for the maroon mugs, number of ounces for the green mugs. So if you take all that together, that would be the total number of ounces served. All right, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, this might be the harder one of the bunch. Um, just remember that you're kind of combining this and it's total number of ounces served because we're multiplying it by the number of mugs that we have for each of those. Second example, now this is error analysis. So your friend or coworker, whatever, did something wrong anytime you say that. So a worker has dug five holes for fence posts. It will take 15 minutes, so that's going to be important, 15 minutes to dig each additional hole. Your friend writes the rule T equals 15N plus 5 for time T in minutes required to dig N additional holes. Describe and correct your friend's error. All right, so first things first. T is the time in minutes, total time in minutes it's going to take to finish the job. Okay, it says it's going to take 15 minutes to dig each additional hole. So that's where we get the 15, and n is the number of holes. Now, your um, friend, coworker, added five to it. Now, I get where he get it. It says that he dug five holes. But this is going to be t, um, which is time in minutes. So this isn't, this doesn't refer to any kind of amount of time. This refers to holes dug, and how many were already dug doesn't make a difference. So the error was your friend should not add five because you don't include the holes that you've already dug. The correction would be T equals 15N. Okay, And that's really all um, there is for the second part of this target. And it's not a lot of math stuff, a lot of like kind of common sense and logic type of problems. So just keep in mind that like for a problem like this our equation has t which is oops, don't want to circle there t which is time and that's not circling for some reason okay whatever so t which is time okay and so our every part of our answer has to somehow come out to time so when we have 15 minutes per hole that means like if we have two holes 15 times 2 is 30 minutes so you see how that works. If you try and add 30 minutes plus five holes, that doesn't give you any amount of time. So that's where your friend's error was. 
All right, so that is it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, now is the time. Get a head start if you have problems. Get them taken care of right away so you don't have 20 questions at the end of the unit or 25 questions or whatever it is. And that's it. Thanks a lot.